In this presentation, we will discuss some problems related to equivalence relations. So let's get started. Let us assume that R is a relation on the set of integers defined by A R B if and only if A minus B is an integer. So we have a relation R which is defined on set of integers. And let me tell you that relation R is nothing but set of all ordered pairs of the form A comma B if and only if A minus B is an integer. Okay. We have to prove that R is an equivalence relation. Okay. Let us assume that set A represents set of all integers. Here you can see the set represents set of all integers. R is defined on set A and R is nothing but A related to B if and only if A minus B is an integer. This is according to the question, right? We have to prove that this relation is an equivalence relation. For this, first we will check whether this relation is reflexive or not. We know the definition of reflexivity. For all A belong to A, A comma A must belong to R, right? For every element A belong to the set A, A comma A, this ordered pair must belong to this relation R. Now, what is the meaning of A comma A belong to R? A comma A belong to R means A minus A must be an integer, right? Because we know that A is related to B if and only if A minus B is an integer. Or in other words, we can say that A comma B belong to R if and only if A minus B is an integer. Here we are saying that a comma a belongs to R. This means that a minus a must be an integer. What is a minus a? A minus a gives zero, right? Zero is an integer. We know that zero is an integer, right? Therefore, R is reflexive. Isn't that so? This is very simple, right? This relation is reflexive. Now let's just identify whether this relation is symmetric or not. We know the definition of symmetry for all a comma b belong to set A. A comma B, this ordered pair belong to R, implies B comma A belong to R, right? What is the meaning of A comma B belongs to R? A comma B belongs to R means A minus B is an integer. What is the meaning of B comma A belongs to R? B comma A belongs to R means B minus A is an integer. Simple. Now, according to this definition, it is given that A minus B is an integer. Let's say A minus B is an integer. Fine. If a minus b is an integer, then b minus a, which is nothing but minus a minus b, is also an integer. We can write b minus a as minus a minus b. This is also an integer, right? Therefore, relation R is symmetric. From this, we have to prove this. a minus b is an integer. We have to prove that b minus a is also an integer. Here we have proved that b minus a is also an integer. Therefore, R is symmetric. Simple. Now let's see whether this relation R is transitive or not. According to the definition of transitivity, for all A comma B comma C belong to set A, A comma B belong to R and B comma C belong to R implies A comma C belong to R. What is the meaning of A comma B belongs to R? This means A minus B is an integer. B comma C belongs to R means B minus C is an integer. A comma C belongs to R means A minus C is an integer. Right? From these two, we have to prove that A minus C is also an integer. That is, if A minus B is an integer and B minus C is an integer, then A minus C must also be an integer. Let's take the addition of these two, A minus B plus B minus C. We know that A minus B plus B minus C is also an integer because addition of two integer gives an integer, right? A minus B plus B minus C is actually equal to A minus C. As we know that A minus B plus B minus C is an integer, therefore A minus C is also an integer. Therefore, R is transitive. Isn't that so? We know that relation R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Therefore, R is an equivalence relation. There is no doubt about this. Right? Now, let's see problem 2. So, here is problem 2. Let R be the relation on the set of ordered pairs of positive integers such that this ordered pair where first element and second element are ordered pairs belong to R if and only if AD equal to BC. Show that R is an equivalence relation. We have to show this relation is an equivalence relation, right? Let us suppose that A is the set of ordered pairs of positive integers, okay? That is A is nothing but set of all ordered pairs of positive integers because we know that R is defined on the set of ordered pairs of positive integers, right? R is defined on this set 
which is nothing but set of all ordered pairs of this form where ad is equal to bc a into d is equal to b into c fine here you can see that the first element of this ordered pair is itself an ordered pair and second element is also an ordered pair okay so this is our relation we have to show that this relation is an equivalence relation for this we have to show that this relation must be reflexive symmetric and transitive first we will show that this relation is reflexive we know the original definition of reflexivity for all a belong to a a comma a must belong to r here instead of a we have an ordered pair because every element of set a is an ordered pair right so here we can replace this a by an ordered pair of this form a comma b it doesn't matter whether you choose c comma d e comma f or any other letter combination here i'm mentioning these two letters a and b here i have written for all a comma b belong to a that is set a a comma b comma a comma b belong to r just replace a by a comma b that's it this ordered pair must belong to r this is according to the definition of reflexivity okay this is our new definition fine this ordered pair belongs to r now what is the meaning of this ordered pair belongs to r a comma b comma a comma b belongs to r means ab is equal to ba this is according to the definition right when this ordered pair belongs to r then ad must be equal to bc ad must be equal to bc here if this ordered pair belongs to r then this means ab must be equal to ba right is ab equal to ba obviously this is true right therefore r is reflexive as simple as that now let's see whether this relation is symmetric or not for this we must see the original definition of symmetry for all a comma b belong to a a comma b belong to r implies b comma a belong to r right now the new definition looks like this for all a comma b comma c comma d belong to a here a is replaced by this ordered pair a comma b okay some arbitrary ordered pair and b is replaced by c comma d a different ordered pair right for all a comma b comma c comma d belong to a a comma b comma c comma d belong to r implies c comma d comma a comma b belong to r this is not very difficult to understand just replace a by a comma b and b by c comma d in this definition you will get this new definition right what is the meaning of a comma b comma c comma d belongs to r this means ad is equal to bc and let me tell you this is equivalent to da equal to cb and this is equivalent to cb equal to da right there is no doubt about this what is the meaning of cb equal to da c comma d comma a comma b belongs to r isn't that so this means when a comma b comma c comma d belongs to r then c comma d comma a comma b belongs to r right hence we can say that r is symmetric isn't that so now let's see whether r is transitive or not we know the original definition of transitivity for all a b c belong to a a comma b belong to r and b comma c belong to r implies a comma c belong to r now here we can replace a by a comma b b by c comma d and c by e comma f okay these three ordered pairs are different right for all a comma b comma c comma d comma e comma f belong to set a a comma b comma c comma d belong to r and c comma d comma e comma f belong to r implies a comma b comma e comma f belong to r just replace a by a comma b b by c comma d and c by e comma f in this definition you will get this new definition right what is the meaning of a comma b comma c comma d belongs to r this means ad is equal to bc what is the meaning of c comma d comma e comma f belongs to r this means cf is equal to de cf equal to de right let's say this is 1 and this is 2 okay from 1 it is clear that a is equal to bc by d and from 2 f is equal to de by c right we can write this let's say this is 3 and this is 4 now if we multiply 3 and 4 then we will get af equal to bc by d into de by c right 
A into F is equal to BC by D into DE by C, right? Now, if we see over here, we can cancel C by C and D by D. We will get BE, right? So, AF is equal to BE. Now, what is the meaning of AF equal to BE? This is nothing but an ordered pair of this form. A comma B comma E comma F. This means when AF is equal to BE, then this ordered pair belongs to R, right? Therefore, R is transitive. Isn't that so? Relation R is transitive. Hence, it is clear that R is an equivalence relation because R is reflexive, symmetric and transitive, right? Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.